Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series. This will be another one where I am trying to complete an entire sim generation in one episode. We have another 10 generation challenge that we're doing. We just finished the entire Not So Berry challenge in 10 episodes, so if you missed it, I will link the playlist on this video. But this is the Disney Princess 10 Gen Challenge by Miss Playing. And there's a few Disney Princess challenges out there, but this is one that, well, this is the one that I like the best and each generation has a set of rules and goals inspired by Disney princesses. And once you complete all of the goals, you could then call that generation complete and move on to the next one. So as I'm talking, I'm just going to kind of click through her outfits so you can see what we're working with. But normally with these challenges, you know, you take your time playing, you get to know your sim, but I, I have FOMO and ADHD, so I do not have the attention span for that. So we are doing this speed run style all in one episode. But thank you so much to everyone who voted in my community poll the other week to, to help me decide which challenge I was going to start on next. It was pretty close to like a 50-50 split on whether I continue the Not So Berry challenge or start a fresh new save, fresh new challenge. So we're honestly doing a pilot episode here just to see which one people vibe with a little bit more and which one I should focus on first. And I'll come back to the other one at a later time. But if you couldn't tell, we are starting the Snow White generation and our sim's name is Fiona because it makes me think of Fiona Apple and Apple and Snow and Grimm because Grimm's fairy tales. So bing bang boom, this is our heir. I've gone ahead and moved her into Henford on Bagley. You'll notice that we're already kind of midday. That's because I'm actually using a save file from another simmer, which I will, of course, link in the description below. I've also added some lot traits to the lot to kind of help us out a little bit. We have on ley line, good schools and child's play. We're just going to go ahead and come inside and then we're going to have her start on a painting and I'm going to go over what the requirements for this generation are because this is a little bit older of a challenge. It's a little different than the Not So Berry. It's a little less strict, which I think is going to give us a lot of freedom and it's going to really help with the speed run aspect of this. So generation one, Snow White, I'm wishing for the one I love to find me today. Founders have humble beginnings. So what's better than Snow White? To start, create Snow White. Storytellers make creator as a teenager, make her have an evil stepmother, but that's not a requirement. But when Snow White becomes a young adult, this story begins. So the rules for the generation say we must start at with a female sim and oh my gosh poor quality but it's got apples on it so we're we're keeping it so we start with a female sim we cannot answer the door to strangers or talk to old women we have to have seven children all with the same parent we have to meet a bunch of requirements for all of those seven children and i've also added my own rule that we have to complete the original adult aspiration for each princess we're also already feeling very tense, so we're gonna we're gonna take a nice little bath. You know, we don't want to start off on the wrong foot here. But each of our seven children has to have at least one negative trait. Each of the seven also have to achieve something before they become a teen. This could be maxing a toddler skill, getting three on all toddler skills, completing their childhood aspiration, getting an A in school, etc. And they also have to age up with a positive character value. But you know, other than that, the the world is our oyster. So the aspiration I chose for Fiona is the soulmate aspiration. And while I do plan to finish this eventually, what I'm actually going to do is temporarily switch it to something that will allow us to get satisfaction points more easily, as well as, you know, help our income, since I don't really plan on getting her a job. But somehow, even though I just started the game, we already have a fear of failure. So we're definitely going to have to work on that. But since the main focus of the Snow White generation is having seven kids, we're, we're going to get started. And the way we're going to do that is first, we're going to try to get rid of this tense mood. And we are legitimately going to go on a date and uh, have seven children with, you know, the first person we interact with because we, we can't welcome the welcome wagon when they come. So we're just going to roll the dice and uh, go with it. Now, the creator of this challenge did say that it follows the original rules of the 10 generation legacy, but that we could also kind of just roll with it and do what we want. There's going to be some things from the original legacy challenge challenge that I do abide by. Like, for example, this is going to be a going to be a, a strict matriarchy. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I cannot escape these occults. Last time it was Caleb. This time it's Lou. You know what? It's fine. Fine. 
fine i i'm going with it but yeah this is going to be a strict uh matriarchy so eldest daughter is going to be the the heir mostly since you know disney princess challenge and all but part of the original 10 gen legacy challenge is you have to stay like on the same lot for the entire challenge which i i kind of like moving around especially since there's so many worlds now in the game but yeah so the only strict rules i'm sticking to are the official disney princess rules that that we went over. But look at that. We already have a cute little sense of it. And we are just going to smash out this relationship. But there we go. Our Aww. first little kiss of the challenge. You know, if we were going to get any of the townies, though, like Lou is going to make some very pretty Disney princesses. Like he already has like a Disney prince kind of vibe. And wow, look at that. We have good compatibility, too. That's awesome. But you know what? I'm going to try to speed this up and we are going for or baby number one, maybe baby number two. Like, uh, you, you don't know this about me, Lou, but I'm, I'm kind of an expert at this legacy stuff. And, uh, you know, maybe if you're an immortal werewolf, you can see the end of it. Go talk to your buddy, Caleb. Yay! Only a few minutes in and we are eating for two. All right, Lou, where are you? Let's go ahead and tell him the good news. Awesome gold date. Let's take Lou home with us and... My goal is to get the fertile trait so we can, again, just try to have as many kids as quickly as possible. Ooh, hey, Fiona, been going through some stuff lately. Do you mind if I come over and stay for a while at your place? I just want to get away from things for a few days, give myself time to process everything. Oh, he's he's dealing with the... I was going to say looming anxiety of being a parent, but uh, yes, of course, we will, we will be your girlfriend. Let's make things official. But what I am going to do now is I'm going to go off my past experience and we're we're making a club because this will help us with all future skill gains, especially since all kids will be required to have a positive character value. So it's good to get everything, everything started early. But here we go. Start gathering, start getting those points. And then I want to get rid of this fear. So I'm going to show off my work and hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough. And there we go. Fear conquered. Love that. So we'll keep that one. It's nice and sentimental. Ah, uh, yes. Love this. All right. Completing the spooky day requirements and the next level of our aspiration. Nice, nice, nice. We'll take a nice little date to the museum. I don't know the next time we're going to be able to do that once we start having literally seven children. Well, let's go to this one. I'm excited to explore all the new lots and new families in this save game because yeah, it's just it's just nice having something a little bit different when you have been playing the game for so long. But look at all this cool artwork and look at this fine work of art. We want to start and we want to get engaged. Aww. I'm sure it'll happen at some point. And finally, we can make potentially another friend because it's not a stranger at our door. It's just someone in a museum, you know? So that's not breaking the rules. And look at that. He's an art lover too. See, we we made a good choice with Lou. I'm putting down a bassinet because baby's going to be here soon. Oh yeah, give birth in question mark time frame. Ooh, thinking about trying a new job. You know what? Yes, go for it. I wonder what his dream job is going to be. Oh, Oh my gosh, we just went into labor and it's making us think we dislike painting. No, it's you're just, you don't dislike it. You're just in labor and in a ton of pain. Of course, you're not going to be having a good time. Let's have baby at the hospital. Ooh, look at this cute hospital. Such a nice build. Okay, let's see our first baby. Oh, amazing luck. Okay, so I made a wheel. So as you can see, we have the seven dwarves on here and I've predetermined the negative trait that each of them is going to have. And I tried to match it up with the actual dwarves, but also just kind of like thinking about what makes it negative trait. There's got to be like a negative movement with it. So all right, Doc is our first baby. And this is also going to be our heir. I'm going to go ahead and name her Ash. Just keeping things simple. Ah, uh, heck yes. On a ley line coming in for the win. So let's see what we're going to get. And we got happy. All right. I'm going to go with Felix because it means joy, lucky, or fortunate. But all right, there's twins. Solid, solid start. Fiona has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well. And Fiona doesn't have a care in the world. Embrace the change. Yes. Okay, so just got home and um, it looks like Felix is for sure a werewolf. We're, we're not really going to know about Ash, our heir, until she gets a little bit older, I think. But all right, Lou, on to, on to round two. I feel like part of the reason that Lou is just going along with this is he he just wants to grow his, his werewolf wolf pack 
you know? It's like that natural instinct. So let's go ahead and edit our club a little bit. I'm actually going to add parenting boost and we'll go ahead and add attend to babies. So we'll add that as an activity as well so that we can get more points. All right, spooky day successful. And then I think after selling, yeah, after selling our last painting, we have enough for the fancy trash can. So now we could also uh, have our children start helping us make money very, very slowly. Add parenting level three. Nice. Ah, uh, heck yeah. Okay. Good news, Lou. We got one, maybe two more in the oven. Trash can, you get to be in the room. That's just most convenient. And level five. We're, we're not doing too bad. And it's time for birthdays. It's Ash's birthday. The time just flies by, doesn't it? Same with Felix. Cool, cool, cool. And per legacy rules, since we got the birthday notification, we can age them up. All right, randomized. We got Sunny. Not bad. And Felix get calm. Nice. Ain't mad about that. Okay, that took all our money. That's, that's fine. I'm gonna get rally the troops for the group because that is gonna help us with our needs. All right, rally the troops. That's what we like to see. And apparently uh, a lot of villagers have been eating some help in Henford on Bagley. So that's that's nice. I'm loving the the baby gossip. Like, how do they know? I'm also going through and color coding the babies. So Ash is going to be like brown and red themed because that's what Doc is. Happy's going to be like yellow, orange, blue, maybe. Probably primarily yellow because that's a happy color. But OK, it looks like we have a regular plum bob for Ash but we definitely have the occult plum bob for Felix, so. I think that answers our question. I'm also going to try to see if I can just like switch between some of these and maybe just get some extra points. You know, at least now I can control the infants and have Lou take care of them and I could you know, focus on painting and making money. Okay, I think I need to get at least one of these. Oh, I could sell some stuff and get more. We should probably try to get these, these infants some milestones. All right, good job, kids. Look at those toys. Play with those toys. You got it. And it's Harvest Fest, so we're going to go ahead and do all of these things because we, we like every single one of these. Oh, man. We are about to pass out, so let's rally those troops. Yeah, and look at that. More paintings of apples. We got to keep all of them as much as I'm trying to get money from our paintings. If it's on theme, you know. All right, and we're in question mark range again. Yeah, hopefully we can get a little more money before we have another baby. We're literally here slaving away and Lou's just been watching TV this whole time and sleeping. And Harvest Fest was awesome. Nice. Ooh, okay. We now have enough for fertile. Yeah. So that will hopefully raise the likelihood that we have twins or maybe even triplets. Like, how nice would it be to just get this done in, in three pregnancies and that's it? We're also going to take all of these seed packets. Because who knows? Maybe, maybe we start a garden. That'll also really help with money. As long as the game doesn't constantly revert them back to dirt piles. Ooh, first word milestone. Nice. I feel like we've actually gotten quite a bit for, for them so far. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, we're in labor. Okay. All right. We'll go to the hospital on our own this time. Just because we have babies at home, you know, Lou could look after them. Oh, I forgot I had to hit join in order to go myself. But hey, look, it's a girl. Okay. So let's see who's next. Okay. We got Sneezy next. I'm literally Googling baby names for like sensitive or like sensitivity. Like she's got allergies. I'm going to name her Emmy. That's cute. And oh my gosh. Again, on ley line and possibly fertile. This helped us out. We got another. Let's see what we get. Uh, we got Grumpy. Okay. Now looking up names that mean assertive or strong. We're going to go with Audrey. Sure. Okay. Okay, twins, not triplets. That's that's fine. So one, maybe two more pregnancies. And then let's see these babies. Okay, so no occult bassinet. So I think both of them are just regular human babies. And then we'll try to get this finished up while we have a chance. Nice, eight paintings down. Oh gosh, this is terrible. I hate this. I hate this so much. And when is... Oh, today. Okay, today is Ash and Felix's birthday. So we could actually 
age them up and have toddlers who are halfway self-sufficient. All right, parenting level seven. Let's age up this baby. Oh my gosh. As we got the notification, celebrate Ash's birthday, throw out a rock a birthday party. We ain't doing that, but we will age her up. And look at that. Communication level two, thinking level one. We are silly. And there's Felix's notification. He gets thinking one and he is also silly. Good for him. Now I need to take care of these screaming at babies. So please, please, please take care of yourselves. This room is just going to keep getting longer and longer. Like the older you are, the further down you go. And you know what? We'll, we'll get a cute little, little werewolf bed for Felix. Okay. And continuing on with the recolor theming. This one is just so freaking cute. But I'm thinking for Ash, maybe her hair will get a little bit lighter as she gets older and she can grow into the little uh, Cinderella whole aspect. Oh, bless all. All the children are asleep. I'm going to take this opportunity to open all of these seed packets. And oh my gosh, I just realized we're not pregnant right now. Time to fix that. And then we'll start planting all these expensive flowers. Ah, uh, heck yeah. Eating for two. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, light sleeper. That is rough for you, my buddy. Because you are sharing a room with six other sims. And yes, we'll say we like gardening. I would hope so. So we can hopefully get a lot of money. We'll see. Oh my gosh, there's the notifications. It's Abby's birthday. It's Audrey's birthday. Okay, let's have some of this meal and then we can, we can age up our infants. I think I also just stuck a bottle in the wall. So that's going to be great for me later. All right, Emmy, you first. So Emmy will be cautious, cute. And Audrey is wiggly and full of broken CC. No wonder she's angry. But here we go. More color themed babies. Emmy is also gonna be yellow and Audrey of course will be red. Oh man, poor Ash is just needing human interaction. You know what? Maybe, maybe we will find our fairy godmother, you know? Like just because Fiona can't talk to to old women doesn't mean that Ash can't. She's like, please take me away from this house. Oh man, we are, we are struggling. Let's see if we can rally the troops a few times. I don't know how many times in a row we can try this. All right, it it looks like a few. We could actually get our, our needs pretty close to, to perfect, except for hygiene. I'm also going to sell these bassinets because that'll make us some money too. Then I think I could finally add another bathroom back here. And how magical. First snow. Okay, let's see where we're at skill wise. Okay, going to be honest, not great. We'll see if maybe we're... Oh gosh, I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to do level threes for, for our achievement. It may have to be school. That one tends to be a little bit easier. Ooh, would you say Fiona? and Ash have a strict family dynamic. You know what? I'm going to say yes, because we're the little Cinderella. We're the emotional support eldest daughter. So yeah, we're, we're going to have that strict dynamic. Ah, oh, and bless Lou made some food. A lot of food. Okay. And a lot more food. Okay. Well, I mean, we are feeding a whole pack, so that is fair. Oh my gosh, these messy eaters. This is terrible. Nice level two. This tent is generally pretty OP, so hopefully we're able to, to get her a little higher. Ooh, Felix is level three. Let's see. Okay, Felix is doing pretty good. If we can get communication, thinking, and potty up to three before his birthday which is in two days, that can count as his accomplishment. Ooh, first blowout. Great, 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 great. Ooh, level two potty. Okay, so now, Felix, buddy, you can do this all day. This is all you, buddy. Oh, and we passed out. Okay. Well, you know, we had a pretty good run. Let's try to, to rally the troops a few times. Okay, you're getting fed. So maybe after that, you could do potty a little bit more. Uh, it's almost Felix's birthday, which means it's almost Ash's birthday. Oh, girl, you are behind. How are you passing out again? Oh my gosh, you're supposed to be rallying troops. Come on. Lou, you are not helping. You know what? I'm, I'm deleting this TV. I'm deleting this TV because he keeps turning it on, which wakes up the infants and they just, they need to be sleeping and you need to be doing more work, sir. Like, let me rally you. Come on. But okay, we are probably going to have a bladder failure, but you know what? That's fine. This Felix is very close to having all threes. We're going to get his thinking up. Oh, we're bursting to, uh, with the anticipation something where oh gosh okay we have more maybe let's finish reading this book and then we could go have baby at the hospital let's go maybe the children will all get taken care of at, at daycare or something now i'm really 
hoping for triplets just because I want to get this done and I guess I like suffering, but we'll see. It's a boy. Okay, only a couple options left. Ooh, dopey. Okay, now I'm just gonna randomize. I'll go with Diego because it starts with a D. Okay, and we got another one. And bashful. And uh, I was looking for soft boy names and I saw Callum, which means dove, which is just cute. Dang, okay. So no, no triplets. We're gonna have to have a single baby here. Oh, but good news. It's rebate day. So we could hopefully get some money back on the inevitable spend that we're gonna do. <laughs> did we get taken care of? Yes, we did. Oh, not quite. But you know what? For the most part, we're doing okay. Ooh. And both these two are, are werewolves. It's, it must be a boy thing. Because so far, it's just been the boys that uh, have have gotten the strong genes. Okay, so Ash needs thinking and potty up to three. And then Felix needs thinking and potty up to three. And communication. So he's going to work on communication now. We'll work with Ash. What are you doing? Why don't you try to go to sleep? And I don't know where Lou is, but let's go ahead and get him over here. Okay, so that got us to two. We'll have you do potty for a bit. And then now that Lou is here, we'll see if maybe he can help us with flashcards too. Okay, we're on baby duty. You're on infant duty. Toddlers are on eating duty. What are you doing? Ooh, you're on twos. Okay, let's get you on shapes. And then you can go on potty duty. Oh, heck yes. Okay, level three. And then let, let's get some potty help while mom is free. Uh, Emmy and Audrey's birthday. Oh gosh, okay. Dude, you are so close. If your potty gets to three, all, all we have to do is your character value at that point. Oh, ah, my little Prince Charming. Go to sleep, please, before you fall asleep in the bathroom. Okay, that's enough sleep. You gotta work on your skills because the, today, today's your birthday. So today, today is the day. Oh, heck yeah, potty level three. Okay, you you are free from the toilet. So play with some blocks. Okay, and while you two have a moment, I guess, you know, have have a moment. Hopefully we could get our final, final lazy baby. Oh, uh, there's a side, it's Ash's birthday. Can you level up? Yes, okay. So we have all threes and that counts as achieving something before you're a teen. So, you know, nothing like, uh, like peaking early. Ah, uh, parenting level 10, amazing. And a blowout, okay. Birthday cake made. Okay, girl, you've earned your freedom. And now as a child, you you can do whatever you want. Let's see, where are we going? All, all the way outside, all right. So creativity is our number one, which is great because this is, in my opinion, one of the easiest uh, childhood aspirations. And this is where we actually have like all three traits for, for Ash pre-planned. Uh, so I'm going to give her neat first. And I think her next one I'm going to give is the negative one for paranoid. All right. And Felix is perfectly average. We'll give him creative too, just because again, it, it's easy and we can't get self-absorbed yet. So not cat lover. You know what? Let's let's go glutton because that's also negative. Ooh, and we could do super efficient infant care. Well, baby care, newborn care something. We can care efficiently. Oh, and bless you, Ash. Just doing the dishes when no one asked. Oh, and we forgot to pay our bills. Honestly, we, we're, we're doing great. We're, we're doing amazing. Oh my gosh, and it's their birthdays. Wait, wasn't it? Today's everyone's birthday. <sighs> okay, honestly, I think it's time for, uh, for a little bit of a, a minor renovation. Minor major renovation. A few minutes later. Okay, here we go. House makeover. Small upstairs for the kids. They need their, their space away from everything. We're going to go ahead and start selling our plants and adding the kiddos to the skill group. Plus adding the children's skills. This is what we've been waiting for. We'll also start grabbing the vibe perks and friendly boost and size upgrade. Okay, I think I think that's going to be it for now, though. We'll also edit the activities. No more TV. We'll add homework. And yeah, I think that'll be good for now. Okay, selling those flowers gave us enough for a thermostat and also a craft table. We will have to share, though. We are getting ready to pass out here soon, so let's, let's rally all our troops hopefully before we pass out oh how cute ash and felix jokesters yeah not smart enough i tried to do homework for school but the last few assignments have felt really hard maybe i'm not smart enough to do it what do you think we'll raise responsibility because that's going to be i think the easiest one to get a positive character value for Ooh, milestone complete great job and all right finally eating for two 
that should be our last child. Hooray, we're almost done. And then we just have to raise all of them. All right, okay, so these two are ready to age up. So Emmy, you first. Yay, okay. Random says independent, which I, I am not mad about. We'll super efficiently care for this infant and then age her up. And random says clingy, okay. Yeah, Felix likes silly behavior. Oh, I see their icons changed, but uh, yay, happy birthday. <laughs> So Callum is cautious and Diego is calm, cute, gonna sell these and then it's back to the grind and then we can super efficient infant care. Oh, I'm so glad that we got to level 10 so fast. Uh, ooh, look at that. Other children. Let's go introduce ourselves. Ooh, within range to earn good manners. Nice. And we have responsibility down pat pretty well. And Lou, we're gonna get you... Not Lou, Felix, jeez. We're gonna get you a nice journal because as a baby wolf, you're you're gonna have a lot of a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. I wanna make sure you get all that sorted out. Ooh, I've called to inform you that your great, great grand second once removes cousins, friends, grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? You know what? We're, we're gonna say under what conditions because I want a little bit of money now. Ooh everyone wake up Santa's here everyone except Fiona because we can't can't talk to strangers our kids though they can talk to strangers all right what are we gonna get Ooh, we got a lots of love bear okay oh and there he goes all right well sorry kids the rest of you don't get any presents I guess Ooh, the kids are off to their first day of school have fun away from this chaos Ooh, Lou got the job what'd you get you are a mailroom technician at Dewey Cheatham and how incorporated up oh. Not exactly sure what that is, but good for you. Some other kid threatened Ash and took her lunch money. She was crying in the office. Oof, this one's hard, but we're strict, so we're gonna say she needs to stand up for herself. Oh gosh, we made it to the bathroom in time, but not to bed in time. You know, maybe it's time we start our gathering and rally the troops like 18 times. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. Well, unfortunately, our mom is afraid of doors and strangers, so we, we have to be the adult and uh, take care of that for her. Oh, heck yeah. Got to level 10 creativity. Didn't even realize he was that close. And Ash too. Nice. Well, I think we can get another activity table. We have the funds. Ooh, we're in labor. Okay, let's look at the bright side. At least we're, you know, we're done with the having babies part. Like that's, that's definitely a positive. And not that we need to consult the wheel again, but Sleepy is the last dwarf. So we're gonna go with a name that has to do with dreaming. Cause, uh, cause that's cute. Okay, yay, it's a boy. We're going Morpheus. Okay, the household is officially way too big and our icons are itty bitty. But uh, with our dear sweet Morpheus, we have officially met one of the first requirements, which is to have seven children, all with the same parent. So there we go, Snow White and our seven dwarves. And just in time for our birthday, because I did enable aging for, for pregnant sims, partially because for the next generation, there is the requirement that uh, our parent has to like have passed away before we can marry. So you know. Ooh, nice. We got some things ready to evolve. And let's harvest everything this time so that way we can fertilize. And okay, Diego and Callum, it is time for you to age up. We're gonna super efficiently care for you and then age you up. Yay. Okay. All right. Top-notch infant. Aw, angelic. What a good baby. We're starting off strong making a mess. And then baby number two, also angelic. Okay, we now have um, four toddlers. Let's see if we can get enough beds. Ooh, just barely. Okay, just finished up some quick little baby makeovers. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said that eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? If you do, kids may tease you. But, but who are we to say what is normal for, for werewolves? Okay, it is our birthdays tomorrow and um, yeah, we're we're not doing great. I mean, actually, Audrey's doing pretty dang well. We really just need potty. So Lou, calling on you. Ooh, aspiration completed. Great job, buddy. Yeah, these, these first two kids are going to be just like leagues beyond the other ones. 
Look at all these sleeping toddlers. It's a rare sight. Ooh, ooh, we aged up. All right, so we are now a full-fledged adult. So now that our kids are kind of on their way to being, you know, self-sufficient, we're going to start working on those character values. Again, I'm not strict. I'm just trying to clean you because you're gross. All right, my ravenous toddlers. I've made you all some, some fruit salad. Please do not get taken away. And potty level two. Nice. Both of you girls are so close. And oh, looks like we are aging up. Morpheus, you are wiggly. Ooh, Audrey aged up outside. Okay, let's grab our hot headed and we'll again go for creative because unfortunately we did not get threes on all of our toddler skills. And then here's Emmy. We'll grab our slob and creative. Okay, a few slight makeovers in spaces and appearance. Right now, my main focus is just that everyone has a bed. And all right, aspiration achieved. Great job, girl. Now I'm going to try to focus on Audrey and Emmy and getting their aspirations worked on. We have to get inspired, which I guess I could also technically do by setting the club vibe. Let's actually do that. Oh, first I got to add the girls to the club. Yeah, there we go. And set club vibe and Fired. Also splurged and got us a little swing because the, the kids deserve it, you know. Let's start adding some boosts to here. We'll add cooking. We'll do gardening, painting, and charisma is always good. Witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I don't know what to do. You have not been to school yet. But here we go. Get an adult. Again, manners and responsibility are going to be the easiest ones to, to raise. Ooh, our conflict resolution is terrible, though. Uh, You know what? Let's let's teach her to say sorry. I feel like we're, we're going in the opposite direction here. Okay, Ash is doing doing good with hers. All right, Felix, you're doing good with emotional control too. Good job. Getting better with Audrey and Emmy. Oh gosh. Okay. You, you need some work. All right. The age old question. Can I eat dirt? You're going to get teased. Oh man. All the kids are off at school. Work hard. Hopefully we can get you some, some A's. Oh heck yeah. All the kids are back. Grades are up. So Ash is an A. Felix is a B. Emmy's a B and Audrey's a B. Ooh, we got school projects. Okay, so that'll help the younger kids. But let's go ahead and age up the birthday kiddos. Everyone go ahead, take care of yourselves. But today is Ash, Felix, Diego, and Colum's birthdays. Cake is about to get a bunch of use. But okay, Ash is aging up First, this is where we're giving her her negative traits. So paranoid Sims feel that danger is around every corner and that people are always talking about them. Can you blame her in this household? But paranoid Sims feel a sense of security while hanging out in basements. And I'm going to go for musical genius because why not? And we have high self-esteem. That's very nice. All right. Happy birthday, Felix. We had originally planned for you to have self-absorbed so you could have that. And you're also a creative. So we'll give you the pager extraordinaire. Yeah. But, ooh, Felix has grown into a full-fledged werewolf. He has gained a temperament and now has to maintain fury. He can now seek out a pack, learn abilities, and partake in werewolf life. Whew, that's gonna be a thing. All right, Colum, you're next. Gonna go for creativity again. And gloomy is our negative trait. A gloomy creative. Love him. And last but not least, our silly dopey boy Diego. And then we can get erratic right away. And then I'm gonna pass on our childhood school projects to the new kids kiddos. That way it could help them with with their school. Okay, so did four quick makeovers and slowly but steadily, Ash is just becoming more and more blonde. Here we go with Felix, with Colum, and Diego. And we could finally fertilize our garden. We'll look at these kiddos helping each other with their projects. Diego and Colum are jokesters, yes. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Blow kiss milestone. So freaking adorable. Okay, the kids are off to school and today is Morpheus's birthday. All right, everyone study hard, get some A's. Teacher caught Emmy looking at another student's test during class and sent her to the office. Let's let's have her retake the test. Felix's latest classroom assignment is a group project. His group mates are all pretty smart. Should he try to contribute as much as they do or let them do the work? I saw that he had like one of the werewolf temperaments that makes logic hard. So we're, we're going to let them do it. Aw, performance loss small. All right, it's finally time for our sleepy baby Morpheus to age up to a toddler. Nice, we got thinking, communication, and we're fussy. Ew. 
Okay, sleepy little baby makeover. Also moved the tent inside because for some reason the kids always want to sleep in the tent even when the weather is super wild outside. But look at this, we can focus all of our attention on, on our last child. Honestly, if, if Morpheus doesn't max out all his skills, I, I don't know what. Because literally for the first time in this entire challenge, it's it's one baby, you know? And everyone else can take care of themselves. Diego started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. You know what? He should help clean. Add responsibilities in range to earn the responsible trait. Nice. And grades are up. Emmy got an A, Audrey got an A, Diego has a B, Column has a B, Ash has a B, and Felix is struggling. So let's do some rallying of the troops, setting the vibe to inspired, get all these kids in a in a good place. And Felix, let's have you resume your your painting and maybe jog to clear your mind. Maybe fitness will be a good good choice for you because that will help with your emotional control as well. Ooh, so we found a ring in in our bag apparently, or our mom's bag. You know what? Yes, dad, you've had seven children. You should probably, probably settle down. And Fiona got engaged to Lou. Cute. Well, you know, Ash, it's it's all dependent on you. Once you move out, your parents can finally be together because we'll have space in the household. Oh, nice. Emmy reached level 10 creativity. Cute, cute. Got another school project in the works. And once we wrap up, we will encourage the grades and encourage working on the project. Ooh, we are starting to get a, a subtle glow here. But here's that wolf brain. These Sims have trouble with intellectual or logical pursuits when their wolf brain is constantly calling and our fury is steadily rising. So we're gonna have to figure that out. So we have like what, I think two more? Yeah, two other werewolves. Yeehaw. It looks like we have some satisfaction points. So Ash, we're gonna get you a speedy cleaner because you're a neat Sim. And the only requirement for the second generation really are that we have to have the neat and foodie trait, clean the house, cook every meal, not marry until our mother dies and have three children. And I'll include our aspiration in that just to have a little bit extra. And honestly, maybe your career too, since she she is going to become a foodie and likes cooking. Let's actually get started on that. And you know, on, on that thought, let's actually switch over to food. Yeah, Master Chef. That makes sense. Like look at her cleaning up after everyone's eating. Poor Felix is, is really going through it. Just writing in our journal, trying to sort out our, our feelings and our rage and our fury. Gonna try to cool down, jog to clear our mind. We just, we gotta figure ourselves out. You're on three out of four. Well, three out of five. Onto the fourth. You're on two. Well, one out of five. So onto number two. You gotta play with another toy. And you gotta play with another toy. And you're sleeping, so you're good. And what are we doing, Mom? You know, this is the first time in a while that we've really just been free to do whatever. So let's let's paint. We're feeling inspired. Oh gosh, our fury is getting close. Let's get some of these abilities. I think these ones are all the least offensive, so let's do that. Send everyone to school alone. All right, get good grades, make good choices. Ooh, that's pretty. You know what, let's let's keep that one. The teacher has to run out and pick up his medication, so he asks the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment while he's gone. Should Ash do that or try to do some other homework while she has the chance? We're a paranoid little gal, so we're, we're gonna do the reading. And performance gains small, nice. Potential cheater, it isn't easy earning top grades and Emmy is feeling the pressure now. It doesn't help that one of the girls keeps sitting close, glancing her way with her sweet, innocent eyes. Is, is she trying to be friendly or just copy off Emmy? What should she do? Honestly, Emmy's a little more relaxed. We're gonna keep away. Don't know how that one turned out yet, but uh, Audrey's in class, is the class all-star today, and she gets to be interviewed by her entire class. She's feeling nervous and kind of excited until someone asks, how come you always get A's? Should she try for something witty or just be real like the teacher said? We're a little hothead, so we're gonna try to be witty. And Diego has mastered the art of the paper airplane and can't wait to try his original supersonic design. He's already finished his worksheet and the substitute isn't looking. Oh, we're throwing it. So yeah, Ash performance gains small. Emmy now has uh, cool kids trying to copy off her. Audrey's witty joke landed well. And of course, uh, Diego performance loss small. But you know, that's that's to be expected. Felix is bringing a friend over, sure. Ash is bringing over a friend, okay. But hey, Diego got an A. Column got an A. We did satisfactory. But okay, I mean, that means technically, I mean, Ash, we already got her accomplishment. Same with Felix. 
Alex. Audrey is an A, so she has her accomplishment. Same with Emmy, same with Colum, and same with uh, Diego now. So that means all that's left is uh, for Morpheus to get an accomplishment and then for everyone to get a positive character value. So we're doing pretty good. Gonna have all the kids sort out their feelings. You two need journals. Do we like dancing? Sure. Oh man, poor Felix. He's getting that emotional control, but man, look at his eyes. Oh gosh, watch out, Felix is transforming. And here we go, our paranoid gal just witnessing her brother turn into a werewolf for the first time and calmly walk up the stairs. Cause you know, you gotta. You know what, it's fine. Distract yourself, talk with uh, your your classmates. This is perfectly normal in our household. Oh, thank God Felix is back to normal. And hey, look at that. Audrey completed her aspiration. Good for you, girly. And I love that Diego just slept through that entire debacle. Emmy has a loose tooth or she lost a tooth. Ah, so now she can wait for a new tooth to appear or she can elect to fix the missing tooth. And it's almost their birthday, nice. Which reminds me. Ooh, Monday for these two. Okay, we're in the we're in the home stretch here because we just need everyone to get a positive character trait and then we're Gucci. Heck yeah, level two potty. So I believe Morpheus is now on level two everything and three communications. So now we have one more day. I think we could smash that out. Nice, thinking three. And yeah, let's, let's bring over some friends. Awesome, so two of the friends, well, two of the kids brought friends over. Felix finally got to a B though, so that's good. Awesome, Morpheus got creativity or imagination level three. So let's do movement. And there's movement level three. So all we got left now is potty for Morpheus. And then mom, let's do a quick round of encouraging good grades because that'll help with our, our character values. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in. Like, ask your siblings. There's six of them. Oh, am I good enough? Fear of disappointing parents. Oh, eldest daughter problems. So let's focus that and make some food. That'll make mom proud, right? Like, that's that's kind of sad. I mean, they, they do have the strict dynamic, but it seems like overall, a lot of the pressures that she has are, are ones that she has placed on herself. And maybe it's the paranoid trait, making her think that she has to do all these things. But it seems like at the end of the day, she she does get joy from taking care of, of the household, even though it's a little stressful. Okay, today is Morpheus's birthday. Tomorrow looks like Emmy and Audrey. So Ash, it's time for you to get up. Mom, you get up too. Let's start a gathering, rally the troops, and let's make a birthday cake. So I'm sure we could get potty all the way up. I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? You know what? We'll, we'll see what we can do. Come on. You are right there, sir. Heck yeah. Level three potty. So there we go. All level threes. That counts as one of the accomplishments. So here we go. Of course, we're going creative and sleepy, of course, gets lazy. So I believe with that, we have all seven children now have one negative trait. They've also all had an accomplishment. So yeah, now all we have to do is age up with at least at least one character value. And so far, yeah, everyone has has at least one even Morpheus like manners good manners for a toddler. All right, so we just finished up the last little requirement of the last part of this aspiration. But like, I don't know yet if this is going to be our adult aspiration, which is the one that we ultimately do want to complete as part of the challenge. I think we'll we'll figure that out when we're actually becoming an adult, which is only two days from now. So that means I am going to get back on, uh, on Fiona's aspiration because this is the second one which we picked for convenience, but it's not the the original one that we had chosen, which I still have to complete. So I'm going to go back to Soulmate because this will also actually give us something to focus on while we're just literally waiting for the kids to age up. 
let's go ahead and call up Lou. We're going to take him on a date. But, you know, only only across the street because uh, we got seven kids at home. We can't we can't leave them all alone like that. OK, and that is a gold level date. So I think we can end it. And yep, that counts as one date. And since we're doing this speed run style, how about another? For the second one, we will go to the forest. That seems very Snow White. All right. And there is date number two. Awesome. We automatically got that one because we're already an adult. Now we need to be married to our BFF. That will come soon. So for now, we will become best friends. Aw, cute. So now we just have to eventually get married, earn two silvers on dates, and then a total of three gold dates. We can get this done super easy. And I think we already have soulmate. Yeah, we do. Okay, so there we go. And back to the kids. Oh man, there's the alert. It's almost <sighs> Ash's birthday. So our first two kids are going to be aging up into young adults soon. And Felix is in range for the responsible trait. Nice. And everyone's doing their homework. Cool, cool. But oh man, I almost forgot it is Emmy and Audrey's birthdays. So let's have them age up. Happy birthday. You're almost free. Okay, aspiration. I'm going to go for wellness because I think it's hilarious. Our little grumpy dwarf wants inner peace. And then honestly, keeping with the red theme, art lover. Yeah. And then Emmy, it's your turn. And honestly, we're going nature. Because something about Sneezy just having seasonal allergies but loving the outdoors is just, I don't know, something about it just makes me giggle. Let's see if we can add some candles to the cake again and maybe save it for tomorrow because it's uh the twin boys' birthdays. Call him a Diego. And oh gosh, hello, who is this? Why are you texting me these weird memes? I will eat your sofa. Yep, this this is fine. This is fine. We're just enraged werewolf sending weird texts to, to everyone. Ah, uh, that's why. It's a full moon. So yeah, I thought we were doing okay with managing our, our rage, but I guess not. And ooh, Lou's also around. I feel like this may end badly. Okay, here is Audrey and Emmy. Very good, very cute. Successful pirate day for most, most everyone. Not everyone though. That's okay. I'm literally just trying to, to keep Felix distracted by like digging around in the yard. It's, it's kind of halfway working, you know? Aw, oh, dude, don't. Don't wake your sisters. Come on. And there we go. Back to normal. Poor kid. Okay, perfect. So now we could get the somber howl ability, which will allow us to howl sadly and release some of that fury from time to time. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Oh, our little bashful boy. You know, focus on different topics. It's fine. Okay, it is a column in Diego's birthday today. So honestly, let's just get it taken care of early, you know? Because then they can get started on their homework and we are, you know, one step closer to getting them aged up and, and out of here. Okay, our bashful gloomy boy. Let's do a gloomy creative. And maybe he'll be a writer. Gloomy creative writer. And okay, we got our... Diego, who is dopey, he'll be our little joke star. And outgoing. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Ooh, but who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. And all my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure out myself? Ooh, this is an interesting one, but I'm going to go with no worries. You have time. All right, there's Diego. And here is Colum. Because when in doubt, do some makeovers. Oh, but this does now mean that I have three teenage boy werewolves in the house. Whew, this will definitely be interesting. But here we are, our little Cinderella doing the cleaning, about to do some cooking, because we are going to age up into an adult by the end of this episode. But the Cinderella generation does say that we technically start as a teenager, so I'm making sure that she is doing all the cooking and the cleaning. But I'm going to get the boys on using some of their, their werewolf abilities, and I'm just going with wolf nap and personal grooming for now, because we're we're keeping things simple. Ooh, Felix and Colum have a difficult family dynamic. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll attribute that to them all being being wolves. Morpheus and Felix are jokesters. Sure. And OK, I'm going to try to get rid of this, uh, you know, fear of disappointing parents. And we're going to set some expectations with our mom. Oh, my gosh. Look at everyone at the table. That's so cute. OK, I think that did something. Ah, uh, freedom with a better understanding of the expectations. Ash feels as though a weight has been lifted. Ooh, nice. Ooh, and the boys are getting some phone calls to go out and uh, hang out with people. So I guess the boys are going to be sneaking out. Sure, y'all have fun. But I think tomorrow is Ash and Felix's birthdays. Yeah. And another boy has been invited out. 
Okay, man, the boys are popular. Ooh, Morpheus is feeling under the weather. He's doing okay at school, so he could take a sick day. That's fine. We'll have to get him some medicine in a bit, poor guy. Oh, again. Oh, I thought our fear was gone, but I guess it came back. All right, everyone's returned home with school projects. And I think it's about time to age up our first twins once we get out of the mortified state. But who am I? And on our birthday of all times, how do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like. Ooh, nice. So... Here we go with Felix. We have manners, responsibility, and emotional control all in range to get those uh, character value traits. And then same with Ash, responsibility, manners, emotional control, and we're pretty close on conflict resolution. But okay, Ash, our eldest child, let's have you age up. And then this is the tough part because we have to choose our adult aspiration, which, you know, we're going to have for the rest of the challenge, or at least we have to finish it. And I'm wanting to stick somewhere in the creative sphere because we were doing cooking but the third gen is tiana and i don't i don't want to get all cookinged out you know so i think we'll go with best selling author and then of course our last trait will be foodie so there we go cinderella is all ready to go and then felix buddy it is your turn don't steal his moment emma emmy gosh there's too many of them. But Felix will keep you in the creative sphere as well. And honestly, I'll give you good because you're you're honestly just trying your best. But okay, responsible, good manners, emotional control. So that's one sim. And good manners, responsible, emotional control. So two sims down. And then we've gone ahead and moved Felix out. Not because I don't love him, but because we need to get Fiona on her aspiration. So we're going to do a cute little backyard wedding, or in this case, front yard, side yard. So here we go. Take it all children as wedding guests. And here we go. And let's start. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I went for the uh, kind of classic Cinderella look. So we may be upstaging our mom a little bit. But you know what? That's okay. We'll look at all of our rage-filled little werewolf children. And our beautiful bride. So cute. And here we go. It's so cute and simple. We have all of our kids watching, even though some of them apparently don't know how to use chairs. But that's okay. We love them anyway. And the rings. How adorable. Yay! Oh, birds. Perfect. Perfect little Snow White birds. Love it. And then Ash, of course, cooking in her full-out gown. We would expect nothing less. And Lou asking if we should move in together. I mean, we just we just got married, so yeah. Ooh, and a nice little nest egg as well. So we'll actually be able to give the house a proper makeover, proper renovation. That'll be good. Okay, so now we just got to start and go in, going on dates. So I think maybe tomorrow we'll have a dedicated date day. Okay, I'm skipping around a bit, but look at the house. It's so pretty. We even have a glass roof over our, our little garden so it can grow year round. The boys room got a little bit expanded and has a bit more clutter. And then Ash has her own room. And I'm starting to go a lot more of like the original kind of Cinderella colors with like the light blues, grays, browns, and then our girls room over here. Additional bathroom and kind of teen hangout area with all of our childhood pictures. I had totally forgotten that Lou has a job. So uh, tonight will be date night. I also moved Ash to the leader of the skills club. We're going to add a writing boost just to help her out a little bit. And it's kids club now. And we've adjusted the activities to write, fix objects, do homework, work out and shower. So I feel like working out is a pretty quick way to gain skills. And technically our kids need skills in order for them to level up in in class so ooh, sir both of you well this is gonna suck because i just uh added a bunch of cool things to this room but i've gone ahead and locked both of them in here because they are about to uh transform probably here in a second yep there they go all right best of luck column and there he goes destroying our chair oh felix is visiting us oh my gosh he's given the gift to audrey and it's a postcard okay thanks thanks bro yep there goes diego too well you boys have fun so we're gonna go ahead and buy a moodlet solver we're gonna give that to lou because he's exhausted let's drink that and do a date night sir please 
please drink this. I know you want to be a good dad and talk with your kids, but you're literally about to pass out. No, I don't think jokesters is quite right for them. There you go. Perfect. We'll just pop right over to the bar. Ooh la la. Would we say that Lou likes flirtation? Uh, yeah. They're just so cute. I love this. Okay, awesome. Gold date achieved. We should be able to end it. And yes, it counted. Okay. And you know what? Let's go to Windenburg. I feel like Windenburg would be like, you know, maybe like a 30 minute drive or something. But it's a nice little treat, a nice little getaway. Oh, wow. Look how cute this is. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Builders are so creative. Um, Y'all, can't you see we're on a date here? Maybe a, a two chair table will, will help get our uh, message across. Uh, all right. Right, date number two complete. Awesome. Now we just have to perform 50 romantic gestures with our spouse as soulmates and earn gold on three more dates. I wish those last two dates counted because they were both gold, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, it is late. We'll switch back over. Okay, the boys are still in their rooms and it looks like they're good. Okay, good job, boys. You survived. And, aw, they're gaining sentiments together like... We survived something together, bro. It's very convenient that the two of them happen to build their fury all at the same time. Oh, but let's also add... Okay, we do have fitness boost on here. Let's also add wellness, video games. And yeah, I think that's good. Ooh, Lou and Diego have a difficult dynamic. You know what? Maybe, maybe Diego is a little, uh, you know, resentful of the whole werewolf thing. Poor baby. And then Audrey will get you on your wellness thing. All right, family, it is project time. If we work together... Together. We can get this done before school starts in a couple hours. Nice. Great job, everyone. Teamwork. And ooh, Ash, now it's your responsibility. We gotta rally the troops because we all legitimately just stayed up all night working on school projects. Good job. So now the only thing we gotta worry about is hygiene. Let's see. How's everyone doing on their skills? Okay, not bad. Lou, let's have you take a vacation day. Oh my gosh, Fiona, what are you? She's so focused in talking with Ash. She was literally about to wet herself. Okay, it's midday. Mom and dad got a little bit of a nap. Now we can plan a date. So we'll start at the park today. Oh yeah, we'll get these romantic gestures taken care of. No problem. And Lou, you gotta you gotta manage your, your fury here. Good job. And okay, there's the gold date. That one took a lot longer than the last ones. But that's okay. Let's head on home for another one. All right, that's a gold date. We are very angry. Gotta work on our fury. Maybe we can uh, go for a run or something. Okay, so kind of skipping around a little bit. The kids are all off to school, except for Ash, who I have volunteering at the soup kitchen, which means we are trying to focus on all of our romantic interactions and getting our final gold date. Oh, here we go. New family dynamic close. It looks like Fiona and Lou just adore spending time with each other. Such comfortable com camaraderie among family members is a blessing. Would you say that the family dynamic between Fiona and Lou is close? Yes. See, that feels a lot more fitting. And oh, kids are back. Um, uh, sure, invite all your friends over. Just don't mind your parents performing 20-something more romantic gestures. I also believe today is Morpheus's birthday. So let's go ahead and bake him a cake. And there's the gold date. Nice. We got about eight more interactions to go. But here you go, buddy. Happy birthday. The final child. <laughs> All right, Morpheus. Who even are you? What are you about? Here, let's make you a little botanist dude. And I randomized for foodie. Yeah. Sure. See, Abby, I was going to put candles out there for your birthday tomorrow, but I I guess, I guess we're just gonna have to have Ash bake us another cake. Okay, here's our little Morpheus sleepy boy. And aw, oh, that's cute. Lou has been feeling really cheerful lately. You know what? Sure. Good for you, man. Now let's, um, let's have the two of you sit and chat here because like the rest of the house is just like way too chaotic right now. All right, there we are. We have completed our aspiration. So we've unlocked new spouse socials and we've earned the companion trait. So Sims with a companion companion, uh, companion trait, I guess, uh, have special interactions with their spouse that help ease the trials of life. Well, that's good. So now literally the only thing we have to do is wait for the remaining kids to, to age up and, uh, we're, we're donezo. So I think with that, we're gonna skip around a little bit until we get to each of those age up milestones. What an achievement. Ash has finished writing an entire book. Nice. Uh, how nice to see the whole family 
almost, you know, eat breakfast. All right, grades are back. We got an A, A student, A student, and a C. Well, all right, everyone's doing pretty good. Let's have them all do homework together, and then we can encourage them for doing homework, helping their responsibility. And nice, writing level nine. Ooh, Lou got a promotion, nice. Okay, I tried baking two cakes, but... This one is bugged out. So girls, you get to share your birthday cake. I hope that's okay. So happy birthday, Audrey. You know what? Sure, we'll give you childish. It's also red. And keep you on the wellness because it's funny. And happy birthday, Emmy. We'll keep you on the botanist as well. And okay, family oriented. You could have it. All right, so there it is. Responsible, good manners. And good manners, emotional control, responsible. So four down, Three to go. I'm gonna grab the girls some, some little part-time jobs. Help them keep out of the house a little bit. But okay, it looks like at some point we finished our second book. We've achieved level four writing. We've written for 15 hours. And now we just need to write five good books. All right, and these boys look like they are ready to uh, to transform. So I'm, I'm locking them in the room again. Oh, Lou, you too. Okay, let's try to regain control. You're scaring your wife. Ah, there you go. Why don't you go for a run? But uh, okay, there goes Diego. And Colum, you're gonna be any second now, I feel. All right, boys, you, you stay in there. All right, Diego, you're good. You are freed from the room and you can now use the facilities. All right, and Colin, you're now good. Ooh, sure. Yeah, active. That honestly works for her. And then let's go ahead and jog to clear our mind or actually take a relaxing bath with soaks. Ooh, perfectionist. You know what? Sure. And level 10 cooking. Awesome. So 10 cooking, nine writing. Everything else is relatively low, but you know, not bad, not bad. And there we go. We have our notifications. It is Colub's birthday, which means it's also Diego's birthday. For some reason, I can't blow out the candles on the cake. Something about them is bugged. That one just disappeared. So boys, you get to age up the old fashioned way. There goes Diego. We'll keep you as our little joke star. And you know what? Vegetarian, because that's honestly hilarious. And Colum. We'll keep you as our little moody, broody, uh, best-selling author. And you know what? Dance machine. That's fine. You guys did a lot of dancing to uh try to cool down with all your your werewolf anger. Okay, just to confirm, we have responsible, emotional control, and good manners, and emotional control, responsible. And as much as I love you boys, I think I could only handle so many werewolves at once. So I am moving you in with your brother. All right, have a fun full moon. And what do we got? Three days? Okay, we could do it. And let's see if we can regain control, Lou. All right, good boy. And Ash, let's start you on writing some romance novels is you're wishing for the one that you love will find you you know that whole that whole dealio oh how cute felix has been asked out on a date yeah go for it you deserve love baby oh how cute yeah audrey could be good and family oriented sure make it all kinds of self-discoveries today and oh felix's date went well i'm so happy for him oh my gosh lou swiped an object while he was at work good for you buddy you know what you've you've been going through it Ooh, midlife crisis alert what do we got Desire for success. We want to brag 15 times, eat a gourmet meal, put money in a vault, start a freelance job. I don't know about that. And are Audrey and Ash close? Sure. I feel like they're getting pretty close. Our little doc and grumpy. Let's head off to do some volunteering. That's something I like to do and I just need to get Sims out of the house for a little bit. And it helps with their reputation. But look at that. Great reputation. Great job, ladies. Great job, Emmy. Odd. Good job, Morpheus. B grade. And good job, Lou. And you swiped something else at work. Good for you. Ooh, Audrey, what are you getting up to? Levitating. And here are our alerts. It is Fiona's birthday. It is Lou's birthday. And it is Morpheus's birthday. So you know what? We're taking a vacation day. We're baking a cake. You could also take a vacation day from school. You don't got to go anymore. But here we go, Morpheus. You finally made it. And your final trait will be, it's children. Okay. You're like, I was the baby and I could be the only baby forevermore. But okay. So with that, we have officially met all of the requirements for this challenge. So we started with our female Sim. We never answered the door to strangers or to old women. We had seven children, all with the same parent, Lou over here. We completed our adult aspiration and all of our seven children had one negative trait. They achieved something before they were a teen and they earned a positive character value by the time they were an adult. And here we are confirming with Morpheus. Yeah, right up here. 
good manners, responsible. So with that, it is also Fiona's birthday and also Lou's birthday. So go ahead and age up. You don't need to worry about this challenge anymore. And same with you, Lou. You did your time. And there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first little episode. If you want to see me continue this legacy with our next heir, Cinderella, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm doing a little bit of like a pilot, seeing which one between this and the Not So Berry continued series, uh, you know, piques the most interest. So like the video if you liked it, leave a comment and subscribe to see what happens next. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.